All right, as always, you can go to YouTube channel My Medical Nightmare and see 40 plus hours video on everything that happened to me. All right, Birmingham, Alabama area health clinic, Christ Health recently posted this job solicitation. It's up on a couple different sites on the internet, including LinkedIn. This is July 2024. Christ Health Center is looking for a clinic medical interpreter, Spanish language. This clinic has a large customer and patient base that are illegal immigrants. And this is easily proven. You can go down to their Woodlawn location any day of the week. The address is 5720 First Avenue, South Birmingham, Alabama, 35212. I was a patient there in 2019. I'll give my own details on later in the video but yeah it, it was an odd experience i was born and raised in the birmingham alabama area and when i went to this place i was not exactly sure if i had gone to the wrong clinic or not you can go down here in the afternoon like one or two o'clock and just stand in the back of the main waiting area and take a look around at the people gathered there seeking health treatment, and most importantly, listen. Very few words of English are spoken. My own visit, I'm guessing more than 20 or 30 people, about 90% uh, Spanish speakers and Latinos. My own stance on the immigration issue is that illegal immigrants and those that support illegal immigration in the United States cause harm to our communities, and I'll debate this issue with anybody. You're seeking medical treatment in the Birmingham, Alabama area. Don't give your money, time, and place your personal health in the care of these people. From what I can tell, the main preoccupation of the licensed medical staff in this clinic, they have a Xerox machine, and in my case, I didn't receive a service that I would expect going to a doctor or a nurse. They had stacks and stacks of paperwork. They ran copies off of from this Xerox machine that was sitting there. And what they do is they hand indigents and people who don't have insurance or a stated source of income printed out paperwork to go from this location to somewhere else and apply for financial assistance in terms of seeking health care and medical treatment. But as in my case, you have to pay them around $100 for this privilege. I was a patient for Christ Health Center, Dr. Terry Daniel Smith, MD, as well as nurse practitioner Anna Musgraves in 2019. I had a broken skull injury and head trauma that I almost died from. The wound became infected with parasites, as well as three inch long insects and worms that you can see in various x-rays, MRI, and CT that I had done. At the time I visited Christ Health Center, I was trying to get an MRI scan, and I had a lot of trouble doing this. I believe that some person involved in my health care and treatment may have gone to some length to deny me health care specifically a more detailed scans on this area because days before the Christ Health visit I went to the Ascension St. Vincent's East emergency department where I had a computed tomography scan of my head and cervical area of my neck. I was misdiagnosed in that scan. The radiologist and the doctors in the emergency room they would not note an injury that I later found in the images and I'll put them up here so everybody can see my rundown of issues with Christ Health Center Birmingham Alabama I believe I received no measurable level of service in my visit I was charged the same amount of money $110 to see the doctor and MD as the nurse a nurse practitioner other medical practices around Birmingham I paid roughly half of that price. Christ Health is partners with Ascension 
St. Vincent's Hospital, and it looks like either Christ Health decided to ignore my injury or were ordered to ignore my injury. And I believe this is to protect the reputations and million dollar salaries of the quote professionals unquote involved. I also believe it may have been patient dumped, and that's a violation of EMTALA, E M T A L A, in the course of my seeking treatment. I was a self pay patient, I had no insurance, and I could provide no stated source of income. Dr. Terry Daniel Smith, MD, outright refused to grant me a referral for an MRI. Just a few days later, I got that MRI. I had to pay cash out of pocket. And broken bones surrounded by infection shows up in that scan. Broken bone also shows up in the CT scan. He claims in his notes in my medical chart to have reviewed in detail. I was billed $50 for a hemoglobin blood test and electrocardiogram I never received. And yeah, I think uh, taking money from people who don't have anything, such as myself, is obscene. Nurse Musgraves wrote in her report that she suspected psych etiology to explain my symptomology. And this is absolutely wrong. Broken skull bone is visible in the MRI, CT, and X-ray that I've had done. Nurse practitioner Anna Musgraves agreed to give a referral when I secured my MRI. So I had to go out and find another medical practice uh, with the equipment who could do the scan. I was given three avenues of financial assistance to pursue, and all three of these led to dead ends. I did not qualify. This is for Ascension Access to Care, Cooper Green Hospital, and UAB Hospital in Birmingham, Alabama. After I paid $500 cash out of pocket for an MRI at American Health Imaging in downtown Birmingham on the south side, the diagnostic center staff told me that they needed a medical referral. I informed them to call Christ Health Center in Woodlawn. They were put on hold 15 minutes, and then someone, we don't know who, at Christ Health Center hung up the telephone. They backed out on giving that referral. Uh, I believe somebody didn't want me to get this uh, MRI scan because it would show the truth of an injury that I was told I did not have. A medical doctor I had no interaction with also strangely edited and signed off on my records and chart days following that visit. This was shortly after I lodged my first official complaint for lack of service from Christ Health. This doctor was Beverly Vonderpool. I put all my records from this visit in several hours worth of video on YouTube channel, My Medical Nightmare. You can go there and see my side of this story. Deborah Pickens also tells me that a letter with a statement was going to be put in the mail to me after that August 2023 meeting. And what I can say is I have not yet received uh, this promised letter. One year later, they know my address too because they sent me those bills for those medical services that weren't performed on me. So people out there looking at health care options in the Birmingham, Alabama area, uh, please take my experience to heart. And I would advise that you look elsewhere when seeking medical treatment from a doctor or a nurse.